So you guys have been asking me how I've been doing my Gel X nails. So I'm going to show you. I'm still learning. Okay, so just remember that. But I wanted to show you how I've been doing my nails lately. These are all the products that you're going to need. Well, I need it for this set. I'll make sure they're all linked down below. I got them all from Amazon. I have an entire nail care like list on my amazon storefront if you guys want to see all the products that i've been using but these are the products that we are going to use for this particular set i'm something like a nail tech now i'm just saying <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said i know you guys have been asking because i've been doing my own nails for a couple of months now and i have been in love never going back to the salon again to get my fingernails done so here i'm just buffing the nail and you want to do this at the very beginning one you want to make sure there is no other polish or anything else on your nails your nails will not stick the way you want them to if there is and then you also want to rough up the surface just a little bit and that just helps the nail to stick and adhere a little better also <music> After I do that I take these alcohol pads and I just wipe off all of the excess dust that came from the nail buffer you just want to make sure again you have a nice clean nail surface to start with I'm using these press on nails you can use any press on nails you want but I got these from the drugstore I think Ulta I got them from and so I have so many different types of nails now there is a more complicated way to do this that I did on my live where you would actually polish the nails yourself and use the clear nails and all that I didn't have time for that this day so you can use regular press on nails and get them to last you three plus weeks using this method it works y'all y'all know I don't do stuff like this and the fact that I've been able to figure it out and have it work for me says a lot again I'm still learning and it'll just get better and they'll look better with time so here I'm just making sure that I get the right size nails for my hand you want to make sure that you are using the correct size nails you don't want any that are too big or too small it's just gonna look a mess and if it's too big it's not gonna adhere the way it needs to adhere Once my sizes are all picked out, I take this cuticle pusher, is that what you call it? And I just push my cuticles back, try to remove any of the dead skin down there. And I feel like when you push your cuticles back, it definitely makes it look like the nail is growing out of your hand versus just sitting on top, right? It makes it look like the nail is going straight out of your nail bed. So make sure you're not skipping this step and pushing your cuticles back. Moving on to our first product, which is the dehydrator. This is an alcohol-based product and it really just dries out your nails. Um, I wouldn't skip any of these steps, you guys. I feel like I've done it several times where I've skipped a few things just to see what works and what doesn't. And doing all of these steps is seriously what helps the nails adhere the way they should. So this is just a thin, quick layer of dehydrator. The name of the game for all of this thin layer thin layer i'm moving into the primer and then the nail glue as well you do not need to cure the dehydrator and you do not need to cure the primer so here i'm going to put on a thin layer of primer on all 10 nails and then we're going to move into the nail glue now here's the method that i've been using with the nail glue i polish one hand with the nail glue strictly the nail glue and then I cure it under the light for 45 seconds once I do that I take it from under the light and then I start to apply the nail and that seems to work best for me because I did try it where I just put the nail glue and the nail on together and then I cured them together those popped off a little quicker for me this method the nails last three plus weeks and probably longer I just took them off in three weeks because I wanted to change them up 
once it's time to actually start applying applying the nail take your buffing tool your drill and I just buff the inside of the nail just a little bit to rough it up because once again the rougher the surface the better it adheres right so I put nail glue on the inside of the nail where it's going to adhere to my nail I put a thin layer and then I cure it I cure one nail at a time And of course, you're going to repeat that step nine more times. The very last step in this process is to apply the top coat. So I apply my top coat right on top of your press on nails and then I cure each hand for 60 seconds and literally you're all done. That is it. This is a super quick process, so much quicker than going to, to the salon. When I use press on nails, this takes me about 30 minutes and I could definitely spend 30 minutes every few weeks doing my nails versus going to the salon, not only taking two hours, but paying an arm and a leg for it. So hopefully this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.